Okay, this is Cool Dude Clem here with a follow up to my previous Portal 2 video. And I'm making this video to say the level I've made, thanks to the help that I got on Thinking with Portals, now works absolutely perfectly. I'm playing it on the laptop here. And as you can see, the high energy pellet thing has the right graphics now. I've also changed the doors to the ordinary cha test chamber style doors. The Zenificator has the right graphics and so does the pellet catcher. And it now all works. Ta-da! So anyway, I thought I'd do a tutorial video on how to add custom objects to your map. I'm also going to go over the mistakes I made so you don't make those same mistakes yourself. In this case, I'm going to show you how to add the senderficator. Now, as you can see here, we're in my downloads folder and we got the senderficator right here. And if we go into the archive, you can see we got all these files here. Anyway, it's these folders that you're interested in, so I'm just going to close that. I've already extracted all the files, which I've got. Um, if it will just scroll over, I've got them all unzipped right here, so first thing you want to do is take all these folders just the folders you don't need anything else from this thing and copy them now we want to put those files into the portal 2 folder now i've got a shortcut to it in my rocket dock so i'm just going to do it this way okay so we're in my portal 2 folder we want to go into the portal 2 thing itself then we just paste those folders in here now I've already done this, so I'm just going to say cancel, so... Because I've already copied those files into here. But the other place you want to copy those files is... SDK content. You want to copy them into here as well, so I'm just going to press... Control V, and I'll just say yes this time. This is what you want to do. Just go, yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, when you go into these folders, you should see that there are new folders here. In this case, we've got one called HMW, which is some of the Senderficator files. And that's it, that's it basically, you've modded Portal 2 so it now has the Senderficator or uh, whatever else it might have been. Okay, so anyway, I've gone ahead and made a blank room, so we've got just that and our guy with the portal gun. Um, ignore where I've placed it, I'm just having a mad five minutes. Anyway, let's put in the Senderficator, so let's grab our entity tool. And we'll change this into a Funk Instance. Okay, and now we need to make it the Senderficator. This one is going to be found in Instances HMW. For other things it's going to be in other places, but you know, the Senderficator's here, so... It's HMW Gadgets. And let's use... Ah, oh, let's just use the ordinary one. And there we are, we now have a Senderficator in our level. Anyway, I'm just going to go and build up this level, so... I'll see you in a few seconds. And bada bing, bada boom, it's done. We've got a room with a Senderficator, all the Portal 2 cubes, and of course the necessary logic to make it work, which is in this no draw thing right here. I'm not going to go through how to make this thing work, but let's run this map and see what it does. And here it is. My map with the Senderficator in it. I did try to Senderficate one of these guys, but that didn't work. Only works with ordinary cubes. So let's take a little look and see if it works. I'm going to pick up this cube here. I'm just going to place it on there. And I'm going to portal the laser. Um, so let's go on over there. And press the button. And look at that. Absolutely working perfectly. And just what the hell is this thing trying to do? Okay, whatever. Okay, so that's all well and good. But if we try to run this on another computer, it's not likely to have those custom items on it, so 
I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to try to run this map on a computer that doesn't have the custom items on it, just so you can see what happens. Right, so here we are on the laptop, and I've put the file in, which I've just called send and no, because I know it's not going to work, because those files aren't on this machine. So let's just try to run it and see what happens. And I'm going to duck down so my reflection isn't in the screen like it was last time. Right, well, as you can see, everything has loaded. For some reason, my portal gun is firing random portals. I think it's because the trackpad acts as a mouse button. Anyway, look what's happened to the senderficator. It is now an error. So, what can we do about this? Let me show you. So there's two things you could do about this. Firstly, you could just go and install all those custom files on the other computer, or put all those files into the BSP, and that way the other computer won't even need to load those files because it can just get them all from the BSP. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pack all those custom items into the BSP, then try it on the other computer again to show you that it'll work. Now, a lot of people use BSP zip but you know what? I say, screw command line programs. So instead, I'm going to use Packrat to do this. It is a Java program, so you're going to need Java installed to run it. So let's load up our map that doesn't work, which is send a no. Now, some of you might have noticed that this program has an auto button. And what that's supposed to do is find all the files for you and then add them to the map. However, it's about as useful as a bicycle with no wheels because it usually never finds all the files for you. It's best to just add them manually. So that's what I'm going to do. And the first time I tried adding files manually, I really effed things up because I didn't know what I was doing. <clears throat> so what I did was I copied all the required files and I put them into a separate folder because I thought that way I could just easily find all the files I need just select them all put them in and there it is that's not going to work because you might have noticed in the path here it says C colon users blah 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 basically if it shows the full path to the file then you've done something wrong what you should see is something like this up here where it says materials maps and not the full path to the file so basically, if it says C colon blah 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 blah, you know you screwed up something and it's not going to work. So, I'm just going to take all these files out. And start again. So, when you add files into Packrat, it has to be from either the games folders, or folders that have the same name as the folders the game uses. Now, if you remember, the downloads is one of the places where I have the sendificator files. So... If we go into this, which you remember I extracted from the archive, you can see we've got four folders here. And these folders and the subfolders within those folders are named exactly as they are in the game. So we can actually go ahead and use the files from these folders without having to hunt through all the files that are in the folders in the games directory. That's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so let's start adding some files. I'm going to do them from the downloads. So we'll just go into here. We don't need anything from maps, so I'll go into materials instead, and don't need anything from the HMW folder that's in there, so just go to models, HMW props, and I'll start adding files. Okay, now these are all the textures for the senderficator, and I'm not using the dirty model, so don't need any of the dirty textures, just the ordinary ones. Now let's add the model files, which are in, if I can remember, models, HMW props, just need all of these. Now one thing that's a good idea, if you know which parts to use, it's a good idea to make a checklist, which I've done here. And as you can see, all the files and all the paths match what we have right here. The only file that I haven't added is the script file, because for some reason, I don't know why, but if I try to add the script file from here, it's not going to work. Oh, I have to have all files selected so I can see it. 
So let's just try to add the script. And as you can see, it says C colon users blah 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 blah. So that isn't going to work. Instead, we've got to add this from the games folders. So I'll just go and delete that and add it from Portal 2's script directory. So we go to program files x86 or just program files if you're on a 32 bit system. Steam, when I can find it. Steam apps, common. Done this so many times now. Portal, Portal 2, Scripts, Vscripts, HMW, make sure we can seal the files again, and then just add it from here. And as you can see, it no longer says C colon blah 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 blah, it now shows what it should be showing, Scripts, Vscripts, HMW, and that's what we want. We don't want it to ever say C colon, you know, whatever. So that all matches up. I've put all the files in that we need, so I'm just going to save it. I'm going to call it sender yes. Now, let's run this map and see if it works. Right, okay, here we are back on the laptop. And I've copied the new BSP over, which, as you remember, is sender yes. And I don't know how well you can make it out, but this new file is much bigger than... The previous one, this one was about 369 kilobytes. The new file, with all the stuff packed into it, is just over 8 megabytes. So there's definitely something in there now. Anyway, I still have Portal 2 running, so I've got to close out that first, because if we try to load the new map, the changes aren't going to take place. So, I don't know why it's just weird like that. You have to exit out of Portal 2 and then run it again. when it comes to things like custom items. Okay, so let's just quit out of there. Now let's load up the new map. Oh my god, my ugly face is in there again. That's the problem with having a shiny screen, it reflects everything. Including all the dust that, oh, that's on it. But, look at it now! We now have a senderficator. A senderficator that works, of course. I'm just going to pick up this block here, well, box or whatever you want to call it. Trying not to get frazzled by the laser. Now I'll just stick that on there. I'm not going to bother portaling it through the wall, but... Let's just go over to the button here and try to get behind it so you can see the effect taking place. Should be good from about here, I think. Yeah, there's a good angle to view it from. And there you go. That's how you do it.